Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on and thank you very much for watching this video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to the co-op. Come and have a look what I've got. So I seen these. I went in uh, looking for a, bit, a few bits and bobs and I come across these fully loaded fries. Uh, Goose Island um, beer. Uh, topped with chilli beef and Goose IPA cheese sauce. Oh, look at them. Chilli beef and beer cheese sauce. Who doesn't like that? And they were £2.75. And there was a deal on. Um, I think you buy two packs for a fiver. So I had to get them. <laughs> so let's have a look at the box. We do like our fully loaded fries, don't we? Look at that. Chilli fries as well. Little traffic light system there, look. Uh, salt, high, 31%. But we all know salt is flavour, isn't it? <laughs> Let's have a look at the nutritional information. There we go. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. Uh, and they are all the ingredients there, look. A um, few allergens in there, look. We've got uh, milk, barley, wheat, um, celery and mustard. Uh, that is that potato, 52%. So there's a little bit of spiel there about them there. Seasoned potato fries topped with minced beef, chilli and cheddar cheese. An Italian style hard cheese sauce with Goose Island IPA. And it's mild, a one chilli rating, British beef. So let's have a look. Water, um, it's got Goose Island IPA, 4% there. Look at, at the top. And it's 450 grams. Uh, an ideal pairing. Our crispy skin on fries are loaded with chilli beef and nacho cheese sauce. Both infused with Goose Island IPA to add a depth of flavour through the hoppy notes of the beer. Enjoy with a Goose Island beer for an ideal pairing. So that little GB sticker there, packed in the UK using British beef. So that's always good, isn't it? So let's um, let's get them open. Uh, hang on a minute. No, let's have a look at the uh, cooking instructions for a go nuts. Oven cut from frozen, which these are 200 degrees, fan 180, um, gas 6, 50 minutes um, in the oven. So there we go, look. Not suitable for microwave cooking. So let's get these open. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is that. Um, so there's your splodge of um, chilli beef, big splodge of it on the side, and there's your your cheese sauce, and there's your fries, skin on fries. So it's 50 minutes in the oven. I've just had a look. 50 minutes that these are going in my um, these are going in my um, multi cooker <laughs> on the oven on the oven setting because uh, they'll be I'll, I'll do it for a lot less than 50 minutes. That's for sure. Not wasting 50 minutes of electric in a conventional oven just for that. So they're going in the old uh, air fryer. So it's done. Uh, about 40 minutes altogether, so 10 minutes less. You have to do it for 20 minutes, uh, 25 minutes with the cover on, pierce it. And then the next 25 minutes, take the cover off on the, in the middle of the oven. But I did it in the old, uh, the old multi-cooker on the oven setting. And I did it for 20 and 20. Took the cover off, give it a stir, another 20 minutes. So it's looking good. Well, it's looking, it's looking a bit ruined, to be honest. Not looking uh, what it like, is like on the box. So if this is your kind of review, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and maybe consider subscribing, because that does help. And leave a comment as well. Let me know if you've had these before. So anyway, enough talking. Have a look at these. This is them. Let me get a bit of better light for you. This is that. So it's 4% minced beef. Uh, having a look at the, inst I was going to say instructions then, but having a look at the ingredients. Minced beef, 5%, I do apologise. 5% minced beef. So not a lot. Not a lot, in the words of Paul Daniels. So let's get into these then and see what they're like. So I'm just going to dive in. Get a bit of, there's kidney beans in as well. If you don't like kidney beans, well, there's not many in, to be honest. So let's see what it's like. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's lovely. It is a warm chilli rating, but it's it's a nice flavour. It is, it's not too hot, it's not too spicy, well seasoned, don't need no salt and pepper on them. Can you taste the goose IPA, um, the beer? Mmm, it's got a bit of a... Not really, no, it's a different flavour. You can taste the cheese. It's all right, it's all right. It, it's not too bad. I mean, I'm not getting the, um, you know, the, the Goose Island through. It's not hitting me. Um, there you go, this is that look. Uh, dirty fries, they are dirty, aren't they? I mean, look at, this, look at the state of them. Be nice with more beef. There's not a lot of beef in there, to be honest. Not a lot at all. But it is tasty. Is it worth £2.75? pence? It's not worth two seventy five. Mm. Mm, it is tasty though, I'll be honest. Quite moorish actually, you just it's wanting me to dig in and have some more. <laughs> That's what moorish is, isn't it? Mmm. I like that flavour. Maybe that, that flavour is is the beer in the background, the taste. Mm. Can't stop eating them now. <laughs> Would I buy them again? I probably wouldn't buy them again, but they're not bad. They're about a seven and a half out of ten. I probably you could probably get a load of you can make your own, couldn't you? As cheap as chips, as cheap as chips, making your own, literally as cheap as chips. Um, all you need is some of that. All you need is cheese and fries and some, you know, a tin of tin of chili 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 con carne. Whip that over the top with a load of cheese. Oh yes, <laughs> but it's nice. It's a nice treat. It's a nice treat. So thanks very much for watching. I'm going live this Friday night at 8 o'clock. Come please join me. Thanks to all the new foodies who've joined the channel as well. Come and say hi. Get some beers in. We'll have a good time. That's what it's all about. Keep smiling. Take care. All the best. I'll catch you on the next one.